sang Mandinka with Jake's baby girl in the back of my pants and I had Public Enemy's logo painted into the side of my head. They decided they wouldn't um, go to the Grammys quite rightly because they were protesting. I protested the Grammys in 1989 because they refused to recognize rap music and hip hop as a legitimate musical category. I thought it was like admirable when she put the Public Enemy logo in her head. With Sinead O'Connor, you didn't get the sense that she was just being pretentious and she was fake. It was like, yeah, she seriously has issues with this. This is what's going to drive her artistry. She's committed to that. <laughs>